Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Teacher, Fine. Eh, no sé si me puede ayudar en, esta, en estos ejercicios de la plataforma para saber si yo lo he escrito bien. Ok, ¿cuál es? Es la, la, la tarea 1.5. De la plataforma. 1.5. Ah, este de las sí. primeras, ¿verdad? Déjame revisar. A ver, 1.5. Y usted ya los puso y le salieron bien. No, me salieron todas malas. Ajá. Por eso le quería ver si yo se las decía y usted me decía si yo estaba en algún error. Ok, déjame ir llegar así. Vaya, la número uno, ¿cómo la puso? Yo le he puesto Big Online Store, Save, Trusted Brands, Have a, a Strong Reputation. Así está bien. Si le sale mal, no es uh -huh. que esté mal lo que puso, sino que tiene un punto de más, o tiene una letra de más, o tiene un espacio de más. ¿Y no se le pone dat? Eh, ¿Se, ¿Se el dat? ¿O solo se...? Eh, sin el dat. Sin el dat. Así como me lo dijo, uh -huh. está bien. Uh -huh. Ajá. Este, ah. Pero es que fíjate que todas las... La segunda, vaya. Specialist said PayPal was more secure than debit card. Así, ah, debit cards. Y le puso el punto. Sí. Y ahora, la, bueno, si quiere le digo, porque yo estuve leyendo, teacher, este, en otras cosas, siempre de este tema, y en una de ellas decía, pero no sé si yo leí mal, que este, que en, ya en el report speech, cuando van las comillas, se le quitan. Claro que sí, ya no van. Eh, ya no van. No. ¿Se le tiene que poner a la plataforma? No, ya lo no llevo. No. ¿Verdad que no? Si no. Yo se las he quitado, les he puesto todas las... Sí, fíjese de que eso es lo que pasa en este tipo de ejercicios. Déjenme ver si le puedo mostrar. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Porque sí, así como los está haciendo, está, está bien, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si sería Entonces como... en la plataforma le quito las comillas. Sí, sí la tiene, se las tiene que quitar definitivamente. Ajá. Y eh, a ver, yo este no lo he puesto, no lo he escrito. A ver cómo me sale porque ya haciéndolo pues es donde vamos a ver si existe alguna, algo verdad. Que hay que quitarle, cambiarle, ponerle, ponerle de más. Y ahí ya lo puedo ayudar de una mejor manera. Hola. Hola. Vaya, fíjese que yo probé ahorita, se lo voy a mostrar en pantalla para que vea. Una me salieron bien y una me salieron mal. Creo que por aquí está el asunto. Una de estas tiene que ser lo que le está pasando a usted. Entonces, vaya, en la primera, vea cómo le puse. Dice, Big Online Stores said Trusted Brands had a strong reputation. ¿Ya? Está bien, así como le dije, pero no le puse el punto. Yo lo hice así Ajá. adrede. También en esta, en la número 3, a friend said offers that were too good to be true might be a scam. Y le voy a poner el punto. Y ahora lo voy a, a volver a enviar. Ajá. A friend, a friend said, said offer than were too good to be true. B a scan. B no, vamos a ver. A friend said offers that. Ahí le puso el that, no se lo puse. Si no, no importa. That, que... Dan o da... no, 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 no se lo puse. Vaya, puede probar con that. Offer dan. Sí. That were too good to be true. Ah, pues sí, ajá, sí, es to be true. Might be a scam. Vaya, y lo único que yo le pongo diferente ahorita y va a probar, ahorita va a ver. Le puse el punto. Y si le doy submit, ya me sale buena. El punto es lo único que yo le cambié a eso. El punto. Ah, yo, yo también este problema tuve. Las empleadas las okay. ahí, pero no les ponía el punto y me salen incorrectas. Ahorita las voy a hacer. Exacto. Entonces, si usted... Entonces, es, ajá. Ajá. Es good to be true, 
el B, el siguiente B no va. Bien, así va, se, se la voy a decir y usted revisa. Ajá. Ah, la número 13, ¿verdad? Sí. A friend said, said, ¿verdad? Ya no es seis, sino que said en pasado. Ajá. Said offers that were too good to be true might be a scam. Y luego el punto. Ajá, Igual, sí. si yo le pongo un espacio aquí, después del punto, y yo la vuelvo a enviar, ahí, ah, bueno, me sale bien, no tendría que salir. A veces sale ese error. A veces un espacio de más, un punto de más, algo así por el estilo. Entonces, Ajá. intente ponerles el punto a todas, evite ponerle espacios y le tendrían que salir buenas. Ok. Vaya, la número cuatro. A blogger said, said, might, mobile, phone, network, more secure than public wifi. Eh, dijo una palabra antes de blogger. ¿Cómo dijo? A blogger say mm. that was. Say, say. O sea, ¿cómo se Dígamela pone? otra vez. No sé. A blogger said, mm. en pasado, ¿qué fue que me dijo? Ajá. Sí. Say, might. Ah, ese might, ese might, ¿y por qué a saber? No, a saber. Este, entonces, el móvil, phone, network, more secure than public wifi. Va, esa sí está incorrecta. Esa le tiene que quedar así, mire. A blogger said, hasta ahí vamos bien, esa es la primera parte de la cláusula. Said, uh -huh. mobile phones, ¿verdad? Networks, where, el verbo cambia. Where? Permíteme. Network. Ajá. Network. Sería network. Después de network sería where. Porque el verbo oh, que where. tenemos en la original es are. Entonces va a uh -huh. ser where. More secure than public Wi-Fi. Y el punto. Que eso no se nos sí. puede olvidar. Okay. Y la número 5 es. Aquí la tengo do, en dos. Entonces, creo yo. Consumer report say was deals are often bidden in web, web page. Hidden, o consumer sí. report. Web page. Así, así está bien. Sí, web solo page. cámbiale por cualquier cosa porque es, no es que tenga que ser con sale. Usted lo puede poner con sale. Pero pongamos la S en vez de sale, pongamos la reported con ED. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Para mantener, exacto, porque ya cuando, cuando es cuestiones acá de, de espacios y de palabras, si ponemos otra palabra, aunque esté correcto y se puede utilizar, a veces ya no lo dice o ya no lo toma correctamente. Uh -huh. okay. Very good. Entonces, sí, gracias. A ah, sus órdenes. Hello, everybody. How are you today? So, this is the class number nine. Report speech information questions. And here... We have already the question for today. So you can participate in the blog. And as usual, we are going to check the attendance. Si hay preguntas con la plataforma, también ¿verdad? se puede. Um, para, for the next week, we have to finish unit one and unit two in the platform. Okay. Next week, next Friday or the other Monday. But Friday would be better. So... Ada, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmín López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Good Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez Present teacher 
Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, my friends. So we are going to we are going to start the class of today. And uh, one second, here we go. Okay. So I know that you really love grammar. So of course we are going to continue with some grammar that is report speech, but this is the last part of the report speech. Okay. Uh, okay, Jose Ernesto. Right now I'm going to check the attendance for you. Hold on a second. Where are you? Here's it. Okay. Very good. So we're going to check today the information questions. It's going to be very, very easy. Hello. Hello, Moto. Okay, so this is it. Report speech, WH questions, information questions. So this is the last part that we are going to check about this. So in the question, in the direct speech, in the normal question, we're going to use the WH word, like where, what, when, who, whose, whom, anything. And then the verb, right? The principal verb. And then the subject. Where are you in the reported speech? We always are going to use asked. I mean, that is the most common. Remember, that is a question. So that's why we are going to use asked. He asked where she was. Look at that again. We need to be very careful about the person that we are talking about. He asked, he, okay? He asked where she was. We're going to switch the tense of the verb again. Switch it back, okay? And the order as well. First, we're going to use the subject and then we are going to use the verb. Okay, where are you? He asked where she was, the other way around. So there are different things that we need to take uh, in counting this one. So he asked, who is the person he's asking? That's the first one. Uh, then we're going to be careful about the person that is the subject. Then we're going to switch back the verb to the, to the previous one, right? Present is past, past is past perfect, right? And then the order. First is the noun, and then is the, the verb. So that is how it's gonna be. The other one is not with a verb to be, is with a different verb. Where do you go? So again, the information word, the auxiliar that is to, the subject that is you, and the principal verb that is go. In the other one, we say, he asked where she went. The same situation, no auxiliar. We're going to delete the auxiliar here. We're going to use the verb in the regular tense that is the switch back. So that is very important. So we have two examples here. Where are you is going to be, he asked where she was. Where do you go? He asked where she went. Do you have any questions? Of course, I have more examples for you. I know 
that by seeing everything is better. So um, this is it, direct speech. Lucy, what time did you arrive? Report speech. Lucy asked me what time I had arrived. So can you see that one? That is a little bit better because Lucy is asking the question. So Lucy says, what time did you arrive to me? So in the report speech, we say, Lucy asked me what time I, so first is the subject, had arrived, then is the verb. In this case, since in the direct speech, we're using the simple past, we're going to switch back that into the past perfect. So Lucy asked me what time I had arrived, like a regular sentence, I had arrived. Remember that the auxiliary verbs do, does, did, are not used in reported speech, only had and have or has, right, for present perfect. So here is like more explanation. Questions with the verb to be and with can, may, might, could, will, etc. So for example, uh, Sam says, where is the book? So we're going to say, Sam asked me where the book was. Can you see? So we change the verb into the other tense that is in this case, the simple past. And we change the order. First is the subject and then is the verb. We have another one, direct speech it says, Sam, what can we do tomorrow? So their reported speech says, Sam asked me what we could do the following day. Okay, remember that there are, do you remember that we check some time expressions that we use when we change from direct speech to the indirect speech that is going to be something like this. The word order is different in direct and reported speech. When reporting a question, it becomes subject plus verb in the previous tense. So that is it. I believe it's kind of easy, but I know that sometimes the first time it's a little bit complicated. So we're thinking about many things, right? Many, many things. Do you have any questions by now? Questions, my friends, there are questions. No questions are here. Okay, let's continue with some other examples. I want this to be clear. So again, this is the explanation, right? Report speech there. So the example says, where do you go last summer? He asked me where I had gone the previous summer. How long were you waiting for us? She wanted to know. Ah, that is another one that we can use. She wanted to know. She is curious about. So there are many ways. The most common is she asked in these kind of things, okay? Uh, or remember that we also used wonder. We wondered or he wondered anything like that. So in this case, it says, how long were you waiting for us? She wanted to know how long I had been waiting for them. So we changed the tense from past continuous into past perfect continuous. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. Let's continue with some examples. He asked me, who is coming for dinner? He asked me who was coming for dinner. Okay. He asked me, how many times have you seen that movie? He asked me how many times I had seen that movie. So that is it. It's like the same structure, we just remember we have to know the tenses, of course, and we have to check about the position and the people that we're describing in the sentence. 
that's the only thing. Do you have questions? No more questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit more of all other examples. When have you finished? She asked me when I had finished. What did you watch yesterday? She asked me what I had watched the previous day. How are you sleeping? She asked me how I was sleeping. Why does Paul want to help you painting? She asked me why Paul wanted to help me. In this case, we can say, I wanted to help me painting. So it's, it's possible. Who will you marry with? He asked me who I would marry with. Good examples there, good, good examples. Questions. Siempre va a llevar el cuento, eh, lo, lo del inicio, la verdad. Uh, it's a principal, it's a expression, it's a question. Which one, she asked? Eh, when, what, eh, when, what, how, which, who, eh, respond. Okay, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be at the beginning only in the direct speech. In the in the indirect speech, it's going to be in the middle. Uh, so it's going to be here. So we change the position because we have another part here, right? So it should be okay. that way. Okay. It's a pair. It's a... Is a convert is a watch watcher. Like the thing is, yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to change the verb into the previous tense. Mm -hmm. So do you remember that is the same that we used in the at the beginning when we were talking about sentences. In sentences, we say we just switch the tense. That's it. So here the yes. difference is that we're going to switch also the position. First is the subject and then is the verb. Okay, it's a, a which do which does does it does Paul want to help you find him? Is a response is she asked me which Paul what what wanted wanted that to that. help me. Yeah, to help me. Yeah, in that case, you can also use to help me. Uh, to help me painting is possible. That one. Okay. Do you have any questions? Lo que pasa es que no son respuestas. Lo que pasa es que siempre todo lo que hemos visto, creo que dos semanas llevamos o una semana, no recuerdo. Eh, todo lo que hemos visto es un report speech. Es como cuando eh, estoy diciendo lo que alguien más dijo. Ah, ok. Chambre. Eh, ajá, más o menos por ahí. Se acuerda que ese ejemplo fue el que le di, ¿verdad? Entonces, en la primera dice, eh, when have you finished? ¿Cuándo has terminado? ¿Cuándo terminaste? Pues se puede traducir, ¿verdad? Ella me preguntó cuándo yo había finalizado. Ve hasta en español cambia. Me preguntó cuando yo había. Ya no es lo mismo que tenemos en, en el presente. Sí. La segunda sería, como lleva el did, es pasado simple. ¿Qué viste ayer? En la televisión podría ser. Ella me preguntó qué había visto el día anterior. Ok. So that's what we're checking here. So it's going to be like that, that. I know this is like a little bit more of advanced grammar, but it's, we need to be careful about those things. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other question? I think no. It's clear as or chat, of course. Okay, let's practice, my friends. Okay, says, Gary says, where are you going? Aha, uh -huh. let's see. What will be the reporter's speech question?
Daddy, I think we were, uh, was going. To... Mm -hmm. Gary asked me where I was going. Where I was going. Remember the position, right? So Gary, if you have the time, please I uh, write that one. It's, it's very good. Anyways, you can watch that in the video again, right? But it's a good way for you to practice. So Gary asked me where I was going. Very good. Number two, Betty, when will Annie come back? Uh-huh. Betty asked me when call uh, any coming back. Mm, it's missing something. So Betty asked me. Mm -hmm. Betty asked me when. When. Call Cool. When I, no, when is fine. When, when, I, when, okay, but first, uh, before would, would, what is before would? King. No, because we're not using no, no, King. No, 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 <laughs> yes. uh, no, 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 Annie will come back. come back. So that is it. So remember the first uh, will and Annie is going to switch Annie and then will is going to move to would. That is it. So Betty asked me when Annie will come back. I don't know. I have no idea. She went away with the boyfriend. Number three says, Rose, how can I get to the subway? So Rose asked me. Rose, Rose, Rose asked me how. How? Dread I will. I can get. Today. I can get. That is it. Rose asked me how I could. Remember the can? is going to switch to cold. That is very important. So Rose asked me how I could get to the subway. There is no subway in El Salvador, Rose, I'm sorry. So number four says, Edward, what will your sister do tomorrow? So Edward asked me. Mm -hmm. I will. What I will, I sister do, do tomorrow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What do you think? I will. <laughs> yes. Edward, Her ask me. Uh, Edward, ask um, me. Edward asked me what my sister would do tomorrow. Well, exactly, very good. Edward asked me what my sister would do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So the sister is going to be the subject yes. that we are going to move, right? And it's not your sister anymore, it's my sister. Very good, Jasmine, that's what it is. Okay, number five, Charles, okay. what? What time does the train leave? Charles asked me. Uh, this is a good one. Maybe Charles asked me. What time the train don't leave? No way. Uh, Charles asked me what time the train left. Very good. That is it. That is the one. Yeah, just remember that if it's simple present, we're going to move that to simple past. And we don't just do or does or whatever. So it's going to be 
Charles asked me what time the train left. Very good. That is it. Okay, it's very important that part. Number six, it says, Lilia, what has David bought in his bag? Brought in his bag. So it's going to be the other one. Lilian asked me. Lilian asked me what David had brought in his bag. Perfect, very good. So Lilian asked me what David had brought in his bag. Very good, very nice. So please try to get that one. I know that sometimes grammar, this grammar is kind of, it's not difficult. I will say that in Spanish. No, es difícil. Lo que pasa es de que no estamos acostumbrados a cambiar eso, ¿verdad? Ya estamos acostumbrados a un auxiliar y a una negativa and something like that. But that's why it's very important for you to practice, okay? Number seven, Frank, what did they sell last week? So Frank asked me. Mm -hmm. Frank asked me what did it sell the last weekend? The last week. Mm -hmm. So Frank asked me what? Uh -huh. Could you please repeat? What did it sell it? The last week. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? But the word is not sell it, but it's sold. The simple past sold. of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be Frank asked me what mm -hmm. they had sold because this is simple past so it's going to move to the past perfect so it's going to be frank asked me what they had sold the week before or last week last week is fine let's leave it like that but the, the week before has to be okay And the other one, number eight, says, Donna, where has Annie bowed her heart? Donna asked me where Annie had brought her heart. Very good, perfect. Donna asked me where Annie had bowed her heart. Good. Yeah, we're getting there. Number nine, Caroline, what is his name? Ask me what? This is a good one. Again. Caroline. What ask me what was is his name? Very close, very, very close. Okay. So <laughs> Caroline asked me what, what, what was his name? His name. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I guess you understand a lot, but just one thing is very important. Remember that in the report speech, first is the, the subject and then is the verb. So it's going to be, Caroline asked me what his name was. What his name was. Okay, so first is the subject and the subject is his name. And then the verb to be switched back, that is was, that is fine. Okay. Number 10, it says, Richard, why are you crying? I don't know, poor Richard. <laughs> so Richard asked me. Richard asked me why, why are you crying? Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze this. Richard asked me. 
why I am crying? Very close, very close. Why I is fine. So Richard uh, asked me why I was. Was. That is it. So Richard uh, asked me why I was crying. Uh, that is it. Okay. Let's continue practicing because this is something that we need to practice, definitely. So, why is Julie sad? How would you say that in report speech? Why is Julie sad? Here it says, start, she asked me, okay? So it's going to be, she asked me. was sad. Okay, she asked me, huh? you please repeat. Why Julie is Okay, very good. She there you go. Yeah, uh, so she asked me why Julie was sad. Was sad. So Julie first was next. No, it's, it's not was Julie, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, number two says, what's for dinner? She asked me what for dinner was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something like that, actually. So she asked me what, uh, how can I explain this situation? Let me think. What, what dinner was for, or something like that. Okay, because, what's dinner for? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. what, what was because the yeah. question yeah. is the, the detail the dishes exactly very good mm -hmm. that is it good okay number three who is the woman in the red dress oh i want to know who is the woman in the red dress she asked me mm -hmm. Who the woman was in the red dress? Very close, very close. You are getting there. So this, uh, remember that the subject in this question is everything, the woman in the red dress. So the woman in the red dress was. Mm -hmm. Because the woman in the red dress, everything is the subject. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like that, but it's very good. It's very good. Number four, it says, how is your grandmother? So how is it going to be that one? She asked me who your mother, grandmother was. Very good. Now it's nice. Only one thing. Uh, it's not your grandmother, but my, my grandmother. Grandma. Because she's asking to me, right? Uh -huh. So she asked me how my grandmother was. Very good. Number five, when is the party? Oh, I want to know that. She asked me when the party was. Perfect. She asked me when the party was. It seems that the internet connection is kind of slow today. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry about that one. At least we still continue with the class. Very good, very good. Number six, how much is the rent on your flat? Oh, I'm also interested in that one. How much is the rent in your flat? Flat is like an apartment, but in England. Okay. This one was very similar to the before one. How much the rent? She asked me how much the rent on the flat was. Very good, perfect. That is it. So she asked me how much the rent on your flat what My was. Goodness. That is it. Good, we're getting there. So you can see it's just a matter for you to listen, identify what is the, the subject, how it's going to change. Number seven, where are the glasses? She asked me where the glasses were. Very good, mm -hmm. perfect. She asked me where the glasses were. Nice. So if, imagine that one. If somebody says, she asked me where the glasses were. Maybe you don't understand, right? So 
that is something interesting that you need to analyze also when you listen to a reported speech question, because you know that is the person is telling you she asked me it's an indirect one. Good. Number eight. How is the weather in Chicago? Windy. How is the weather in Chicago? She asked me how the, the weather in Chicago was. Perfect, very good, nice. That Chicago was, was at the end, good. Number nine, who is the prime minister of Canada? Uh, teacher, could be, um, she asked me who is the, pri the prime minister in Canada was. Okay, very good. Very good. The prime good minister of Canada was. Very good. Nice. That is it. So, number 10. Where do you usually go swimming? Where do you usually go swimming? She asked me where I usually go swimming. What? Mm -hmm. uh, no, because oh, we don't usually. Usually, it's expression yeah. time. Okay? No, it's frequency here. Yeah. Uh, frequency, yeah. She asked me where um, usually you went swimming. And swimming. Very good. So that is it. So uh, she asked me where I, I usually went. went swimming. Yeah, that's really went swimming. Okay. Number 11, what does Luke do at the weekend? Is, uh, she asked me what uh, I, uh, she asked me what Luke I, I at the Luke weekend. Very close, very close. So this one is going to be, she asked me what Luke did at the weekend. Yeah, because it's simple present, that's do, right? So in this case, we change that to simple past. So she asked me what Luke did at the, where do your parents live? Uh, she asked me who I went running which? No, number 12, uh, number 12. Ah, sorry. Where do your parents live? Yes, it's a uh, he. Ask me where uh, I... Right, my Very good. So that is it. She asked me where my parents lived with ED, right? Lived. Good. We're getting there. Number 13. Who do you go running with? She asked me how when I run which. Very close. Very close. Nice. So... This one is going to be, she asked me who I went running with. Okay, went, yeah, yeah. because uh, it's, uh, the position, right? Good, but it's good, we're getting there. Number 14, when does Lucy get up? Uh, she asked me when Lucy did get Very close, just remember that since we don't use the auxiliary, this is going to be, she asked me when Lucy got up, got up. We just get transformed up. the verb. Yeah, the verb goes in simple past. Get up, yes, brother. Yeah, got up. Uh, that is okay. the transformation of the verb, got up. Number 15, how much TV do you watch? She asked me how much I watch TV. It could be like that, yes. So she asked me how much how much TV I watch is correct, not a problem. Uh, number 16, how many books do they own? How many books do they own? Thank you. 
Maybe she asked me how many books they own. Very good, perfect. So she asked me how many books they owned. That is it, nice. Number 17, where does John work? Where does John work? She asked me where John worked. worked. Very good. Nice. She asked me where John worked. Nice. Number 18. What do the children study on Fridays? What do the children study on Fridays? She asked me what the children study on Friday. Very good. She asked me what the children study at on Fridays. Why do you study English? How is going to be that? Uh, maybe she asked me why I studied English. Very good. That is it. She asked me why I studied English. Good. And the last one. Where is the post office? She asked me where the post office was. Perfect. She asked me where the post office was. Teacher, I think any, any I questions? need I think I need more practice. That is because true. Because I can I am very confused with the was. I used a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you need to uh, what you can do is you can practice. I mean, for example, right now we're going to practice in uh, uh, in a way that we're going to speak, right? But it's also important uh, to write sentences. Something that you can do is that you can write sentences and you can send me the sentence. I mean, if you write the sentences in a notebook, you can take a picture and send it to me or go online and practice. You can see that those exercises um, that I show to you, those are online. So you can practice. And this is very important. The problem with English, when you come to English classes is that we, the teacher shows you the grammar, explains the, the grammar, you understand, you practice a little bit, and then we go to other topic, and then other topic, and then other topic. So at the end, if you don't practice what you learned, one, two, three weeks ago, probably you will forget. You remember the rules, but you don't remember the way how to use those into a yeah, real conversation. So it's very important to practice, definitely. Okay, so we are going to practice. Do you remember how we practiced the last time? So you are going to ask me a question and other people is going to tell the indirect question. Now we are going to use only, only information questions, okay? The question, the first question is, who wants to be the first one? A volunteer. Anybody? Any volunteer? Can you repeat activity, please? Yeah, you are going to tell me a question and then other person is going to say that in an indirect way. Information questions only. Okay, I'm going to choose them. Gloria. Hello, Gloria. I think. <laughs> okay, yeah. hello. So uh, you are going to ask me a question, any question, but remember that is going to be information question. It's going to be what, where, when, any kind of question like that, okay? So please ask me a question. 
Where are you living um, at the restaurant? I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Where are you uh, living in the restaurant? Mm. Living like living to go away? To, to go, go away. Uh, okay, good, good. So, so it's going to be when, right? When are you leaving the restaurant? Very good, that is a nice question. Thank you. That's the only thing from you. Ada Patricia. The indirect question. Gloria said, when are you leaving the restaurant? So now you are going to do the indirect question. She asked me. No, she asked the teacher. She asked the teacher where live, where, where went, <laughs> where go. Okay, let's go step by step, okay? So Gloria asked the teacher, right? She asked the teacher when. when? And after when, what is it? Do you remember the structure? When and is? When what? No. When live 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 live. Okay, so let's remember the structure. In the structure, we're going to say she asked me or her or whatever, when or what or whatever. And what is after the wh word in the indirect speech is going to be the subject. So it's not the verb but the subject. So let's go again to the question. Uh, Gloria asked the teacher when, uh, when actually is when, when? When leave. No, the subject, what is the subject? The... Where, where, uh, where you? When where, where he. He, 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 when uh -huh. he leave a restaurant. Okay, when he, now we're going to check about the verb. So in the verb, in the question, in the original question, she says, when are you leaving? When are, are right, are you leaving the restaurant? So you say, um, Gloria asked the teacher when he was, was, was El resto de la question was live living, in the restaurant. Live, that is it. Live in the restaurant. Good, good, Ada Patricia. So that is it. So the first one is Gloria asked the teacher when he was leaving the restaurant. That is the structure. The structure is magical. Remember the formula. The formula is very important. Good. Ada Patricia, tell me a question. Any question? How much the price, the dress? How much is the dress? We're going to leave it like that. How much is the dress? Very good. Zulma. Hello. Hello, yes. So uh, you are going to tell me the indirect question for that one. Okay. Um, teacher, what time do you go to the bed? No, you are going to do the indirect question of the question that Ada Patricia asked me already. Did you listen to the question? Uh, no, you can repeat. Ada Patricia, could you please repeat the question you asked me? How much the dress? How much is the dress? Good. Um, Ada Patricia asked the teacher how much was the dress? Almost. Almost there. Okay, so remember that first is the subject. So it's going to be 
Ada Patricia asked the teacher how much the dress was. Mm, yes. That is it. That's the only thing. Zulma, ask me a question now. A question, any question. Okay. Uh, teacher, what time do you go to the sleep? What time do you go to sleep? Very good. Carla Vasquez. Okay. Zulma uh, asked the teacher, what time did you went to sleep? Mm -hmm. Okay. Zulma asked the teacher, what time? You went no. to sleep? He went. When, uh, he. he went to sleep. Yeah, remember the first he, uh, the person. He went to sleep. Okay. Okay. Actually, sleep. I always go to bed around midnight. That's not good for me. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Carla, could you please tell me a question for me? Any question? Okay. Uh, what time do you take uh, breakfast? What time do you take breakfast? Very good. Now let's see. Jasmine. Indirect question. She asked the teacher what time. Um, uh, let me see. She asked the teacher what time he took the breakfast. Took the breakfast, very good, that is it, nice. Now, a question, please. Uh, Any question, Jasmine? What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Well, the answer for the other question, uh, the breakfast, I always take it at eight in the morning. So, what is your favorite color? The indirect question for that one is for Lourdes. She asked the teacher, what was the favorite color? Mm -hmm. Oh, what the favorite color was? Very good, that is it. So she Yay! asked the teacher, <laughs> nice. <laughs> she asked the teacher what his favorite color was. Nice. Lower this a question, please. Any question? Okay. And the question is um, Do you do you like uh do you like it? A pizza? Actually, I need an information question. Ah, okay. Uh, what is uh, oh, 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 what uh, I know, no sé qué decir. What? Ay, quiero ver. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Very good. It's very soon, actually. So, uh, let's see, Susana, indirect question. She asked the teacher when is his birthday was? Mm, but you mm -hmm. used two verbs, is and was, yes. so? Yes, yes, I'm sorry, I understand very good. I <laughs> okay. am very confused. Okay. She asked the teacher, uh -huh. she asked the teacher when is his birthday? Is no. no. When? Okay. Let me think. Of course. What is when? When was his birthday? Very close. Very close. Okay. So this is going to be like this. Uh, she asked the teacher when his birthday because that is the subject yes uh, his birthday was okay it's very easy i am confused 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you just need to practice that, but you need to pay attention on the practice that we're doing right now and you are going to get more, okay? Okay, Susana, one okay. question for me. Yeah, I have a question. Any question, information question, please. Where can I do English grammar exercise? Where can I do grammar exercises in English? Okay. Well, actually online, you can just type, if that is a question, you can just go and Google exercises for reported speech and questions, and you will find a lot of exercises. So it's yeah, a good practice. I, 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 I think I really need that. Yeah, I know this topic is not easy. It's not easy. But if you practice, you will be fine, okay? Okay, so where can I do or where can I practice English online or something like that is the question, so. Yes, where can I do English grammar exercises? Where can I do English grammar exercises? Okay, that is going to be for Anna Selmi. Question, teacher. Mm -hmm. She asked me, uh, why well, I say that? Uh, so it's going to be, where can I do exercise, grammar exercises? Grammar oh. English exercises on grammar. Where? Uh, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah. Susana, could you please repeat the question? Yes. Where can I do English grammar exercise? Where can I do English grammar exercise? Okay, Susana um, asks ask teacher uh, where where she could she could do English grammar exercise. Perfect, that is it. Nice. Anna, tell me one question. Any question and information, please. Um, which is your favorite movie? Which is my favorite movie? Good question. I have a lot. Wilfredo, this is for you. Um, okay. Uh, could you repeat, please, the question? Yes. Which is your favorite movie? Um, okay. She asked me. Um, she asked the teacher. Excuse me? She asked the teacher. I'm um, okay. She asked the teacher, what is my, my I, excuse me, I, I, I didn't, I, I don't remember what is the, the old, old question. Uh, could you please repeat the question and tell me? Yes. Which is your favorite movies? For the um, teacher. Okay. For the teacher. <laughs> Ah, okay. She asked to the teacher, what is the, his favorite movie was? Okay, we're getting there. So, yeah, she asked the teacher which his favorite movie was. Um, okay. Very good. Perfect. Wilfredo, one question. Any information question? Um, okay. What kind of, what kind of sport do you practice? What kind of sports do I practice? Oh, I love sports, but I don't. Basketball, I play basketball every Sunday, you know. Anyways, it's just an exercise. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is for Osmin. Osmin. Okay, teacher. I know how to the question. Oh, could you please, please repeat the question, Wilfredo? I'm okay. What kind of sport do you practice? Okay. Uh, he he said the teacher. He asked the teacher. Okay. He asked the teacher, "What can your favorite sport was?" No. Was actually that is correct. Was it's a different thing, but it's like the same question, right? So it's going to be. Um, he asked the teacher what what, what, sports what kind of sport he practiced. 
uh, okay. what kind of sports he yeah. practiced. So that's going to be. Right. Yeah. Osmin, one question, the last one. Any okay. question? Uh, when is your rest day? When is? When is your rest day? Okay, when is your rest day? This is for Pamela. Um, he asked when what can you repeat the question? Okay, all right. Um, okay. When is your rest day? When is your okay? He asked the teacher when was the rest day? Very close. So wow. it's going to be like this. He asked the teacher when his rest day was. Ah, okay. Yeah, very good. So now that we practice a little bit more, I believe that is is better. But as I was telling you, this topic is a topic that you need to practice a lot. Because, I mean, if you go to other country, whenever you go to New York, American people, they are going to speak that very fast. I mean, here we stop and think and analyze, but in a conversation, we can do that one. We can say, oh, oh, could you please repeat? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, he asked or not, right? It's a regular conversation. It's like, he's going to speak very fast and you need to say yes or no or whatever, right? So, so it's very, very important that you practice. Practice is very important here. So remember that in the class, we are going to check grammar. We're going to understand the grammar. We're going to practice a little bit, but then it's your turn, okay? Do you have any questions before we move on? No questions. Practice, please. Anyways, we're gonna continue with the book a little bit more. And today we have free practice because it's Friday, yeah. But today the internet connection is kind of, I don't know what's going on. Let's see how it goes. Teacher, not forget, pass a pen. That is correct. Yeah, Nelson, I'm sorry. It's because I really love English and I speak and speak and ask questions, but I'm gonna do that one. Thank you for reminding me. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of the book. 
and then for practice. Okay, so this is it. Uh, we are already in e-shopping issues, and this is about building vocabulary. So it says match the terms related to online shopping to the corresponding meanings. So we have six words, reliable seller, fake review, ratings, guarantee, faulty, and skeptical. So you are going to read what is on the left, on, on the right corner, and on the right side. Uh, and then we're going to match. Let's see, Nelson, could you please read the first one? Okay. Building vocabulary. Okay, Match yeah. the term provider to online shopping to corresponding meaning. Number one, reliable seller. Uh, working badly on, on reliable because of imperfection. Okay, very good. So this one is working badly or unreliably because of imperfections. Mm -hmm. Badly is an adverb, of course, and unreliably as well. So what is the answer for this one? Warranty. <clears throat> Guarantee. Faulty. Faulty. Yeah, faulty. That is faulty. Good. Uh, Zulma, could you please read the number two? Feedback. Okay, um, feedback and comments about third party seller focus on the buying experience. Very good. So feedback and comments about a third party seller focus on the buying experience. What is the answer for this one? Anybody? Feedback. You know what is feedback, right? When you provide comments about something and it's like... Maybe reliable seller? Reliable seller. Do you think is that? Everybody, what it says? Reliable seller. Because seller is a person. Maybe warranty. Warranty. Mm. But it yes. says feedback and comments. I think it's ratings. 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 Yeah. Warranty, working, body, or... Uh, yes, or ratings. Perfection. Yeah, actually it's ratings. Very good, it's yes. ratings. Perfect. So the next one, uh, Gloria, could you please read? Not easily. Uh, not easily. Oh no, homework, my goodness. <laughs> that is not good. Okay. Sorry, so not, no, not a problem, no worry. We are at home and I know that the family and many things, so no problem. <laughs> so it says not easily convinced, having doubts or reservation. Mm -hmm. Skeptical. Skeptical, very good. Skeptical. Skeptical. That is skeptical. When you're skeptical, like like when the boyfriend says, No, I didn't go out yesterday, and you are like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe in you? Okay, so the next one is going to be for let's see. Ada Patricia, positive. Positive or negative. Feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Very good. Positive or negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. So what is that? A fake review. Definitely. Fake review. That is a fake review. So don't trust in reviews totally, right? I mean, they are good, but not all of those are real maybe he knows how about yes because i mean we don't care about negative things and we always buy things okay the other one a seller that is for osmin okay teacher 
a solar you a solar you can uh, trust why you purchase and who is consistently good in delivering quality of products very good so a seller you can trust with your purchases and who is consistently good on in delivering quality or products so what is that Water. reliable seller very good that one is reliable seller very good the last one is going to be for guadalupe a formal assurance a formal assure that certain condition will be uh, fully fulfilled. fulfilled relating to a product or service. Very good. So this is a formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to a product or service. What is that? Uh, quarantine. Guarantee. Very good. So that is it. So that is the vocabulary. Remember that this vocabulary is for you to keep it in your brain. So number five, it says your turn. Paperwork. We are not going to do the paper. We we're going to do it together. So uh, these are questions about shopping online. Have you ever bought something online? Anybody? Just food. Yes. Food. And how was the experience, Jasmine? Well, very good in the picture traveler because they said to me, we will deliver your order on 30 minutes, but they usually arrive on 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, very good. So that is nice because you are hungry and then you are eating that. Nice, very good. Any other person? Have you ever bought something online, people? It's about... oh. Carla, first and then Rose. Okay, okay. Yes, I share with you that my bad experience with uh, us delivery in a, a, rest, a local restaurant. I have my, I have my order in a uh, app, it all good. The app uh, confirm my order. And in fact, let me, how many minutes they order, uh, their order, tardaria, teacher? Uh, will last. Their order will last for, uh, but but my home uh, past the 40, 40 minutes approximately and review my my order and my order wa uh, was cancelled because the restaurant don't have uh, the the menu that's offered in in a web oh my goodness so you did yes it was terrible for me because this day I don't want to cook for dinner and was a was a bad experience. Yeah, that is true with the with the apps uh, like Hugo or any things like that. Sometimes that happens. Uh, that happened from to me once. I remember that they canceled the order. The good thing is that I checked very soon. Right, uh, it was it was not canceled in forty minutes. So after two or three minutes uh, but it's not good because i mean then you have to start again and things that imagine that you waited 40 minutes i mean that was definitely not good yeah okay now uh, it was rose i guess yes now um, i bought uh, some shoes and i bought a watch and i have a good experience with the with the with the with the order uh, oh my god with the with the store can i say ah, yeah, okay. my order. It, it was on time it was um it was on time it was uh, exactly uh, like the 
like the photo. And I think that was a good experience. Very good. That is a nice experience. Nice. Any other person? I always purchase online, you know, since I was like a long time ago. Uh, I used to order a lot from eBay, a lot of things. The most of the times, uh, it was a very good experience. Uh, and Amazon also. So I believe it's, it's a very good thing, but of course you need to be careful. And there are some things that I never buy online, like cell phones, computers, those are not good. Okay, number two, I'm gonna change it to the present. Uh, so do you read some reviews before buying your products or services? Do you usually do something like that? Uh, yes, I do. You do it? Yes. Okay. What happens if you see a lot of bad reviews? How, what do you think? What do you do? I say, forget. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> Look another. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah. Nice. In my case, teacher, um, my experience is related to the gains for my son. Okay. And when he asked me about the specific game, I tried to check the reviews for get more information, uh, information related to the level of you say violence violence yeah but in my opinion the majority of the games has <laughs> the but, but i try to game. review yeah <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> i try to review uh, go ahead i try to to read the review the different comments and depending the that information, I take the okay. decision. <laughs> okay, that is very good. Perfect. That's nice. Um, so I believe that here the most of the people we don't we don't do reviews or we don't read the reviews only about maybe restaurants. I mean, maybe that is the most common. When there is a new restaurant and you would like to go, you want to check the pricing, you want to check the menu, and then some reviews to check about that. But it's a very good experience. I mean, that you can read and check opinions and more if you find people that you know. So if a friend says to you, oh yes, I went there and it's a very good experience, that is good. So whenever you purchase online, uh, did you get a guarantee? What happened to you? Nobody has a guarantee. No, some places are clearly in that case and it mentioned doesn't have warranty. That is true. Yeah, some places they say, okay, you buy it and it's yours, right? You can do whatever you want. So again, depending on the product, it's good or bad, right? Um, were you skeptical about the quality of the product you will receive? So whenever you purchase something, I am very skeptical to be honest with you about food. I mean, in the pictures, you more with hamburgers and things like that. In the pictures, you see that very, very good. But when you receive <laughs> uh -huh, very big, right? And with a lot yeah. of things, and when you receive the hamburger, it's like, oh, what happened? Oh my God, shrink. <laughs> yeah, so. Of Even course, that uh -huh. happened in the real store. You are in the store and you are looking face to face. Oh, that hamburger <laughs> looks so uh, good. You vote and then you receive a little thing. And I'm like, mm, okay. Imagine what happened face to face. What can happen if you buy food online sometimes not if a good experience that is true and it's not good i mean because you're i mean just you, you expect something right maybe not a big hamburger but 
uh, well, but you learn with the time. For example, if you buy a GBC, you know that you will get a very nice hamburger. But of course, the pricing is different than you when you buy from McDonald's, right? That McDonald's is fast food and it's going to be not bad. I, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not the, the way that you look at the picture. So whenever I'm going to buy online food, I am skeptical. I say, mm, is it going to be like that? What is not? Well, and but then in I'm, general, teacher, the advertising related to the food is, how do you say? Fake. It's fake. <laughs> it's fake because the in the public in the advertising, the hamburgers look delicious, delicious <laughs> and fresh. I'm very big. Very big. Exactly. Um, and full size bacon. <laughs> exactly. And when you buy the the combo, combo, combo. Yeah, combo. Yeah. Combo. <laughs> the expectation. Something is missing. <laughs> totally different to reality. That is. And it's pretty sad because when you are hungry, I mean, it's like what happened to Carla. Right? You're hungry and you expect the food and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to eat this very nice food, but then. Oh, but in general, teacher, in, in, in the sector of the publicity, the, there, there are a lot of professional related to the, how do you say? Is is fake uh, food, but is how do you say dileria? Ah, uh, yeah, those are like I guess utility is the word. Utility, utility yeah, related uh -huh. to the advertising for the food. Yeah, I don't know if somebody here uh, works in marketing, but I watched a video about that one once where they uh, actually they cook they cook a hamburger, but they paint it. They paint it, they put many things, and they, with a camera, they are very close. And I mean, and you know what is the, what I think that is very sad is that almost everything nowadays is fake. I mean, the singers, they don't sing. Uh, movies are not the same. Some of movies, yes, but I mean, now we have the, I mean, even the perfumes are not the same. Everything, the cars are not the same. I mean, cell phones are not the same. It's not the same quality. Uh, they are beautiful. They are attractive, but not the same. Okay. Um, so the other one says, uh, do you experience some issues whenever you make a payment when you are purchasing online? Well, I guess that is the example for Carla, right? Carla place an order and it's not about the payment, but in the application, there was a problem. So that was not good. But Anybody? in the case of the payment teacher, um, is common the fake promotion or not fake promotion, maybe the all information about the promotion is not clear. That is For true. example, the last weekend, uh, my husband bought uh, two canopies, mm -hmm. canopies in an online store. The, um, okay. <laughs> and okay. the promotion is mm, discount of the 20%, 20% for a specific this day. But when, when we um, charge it, the, the amount the uh -huh, okay. for the product, the price is the, the normal price. What happened? Ah, no, because the discount, <laughs> the discount <laughs> is a, what do you say? It's a credit for the other oh purchase. That's that's in, in where 
that the information about a specific promotion, no, and the discount is a discount in the moment. Exactly. So that is but, not a discount, right? That is a coupon for the next purchase, but it's, yeah. it's not a discount. <laughs> yes, and the other in the in the same <laughs> in the same store <laughs> that a ah, promotion with the credit card of a specific bank. Ah, okay. When you pay, if the price is the same, the normal. Uh, no, I get the promotion. You need to call to the bank and after the bank uh, must be a discount. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's not. In my opinion, it's not clear. It's not good. Uh, why, why do you think that, I mean, companies do that one? I mean, I for me, it's kind of not good, but the problem is not that it's not good. The, the, the moment but it's not good that because you have a bad experience and probably you will say i won't go there anymore right so they yeah. lose a customer yes yes exactly yeah. it is more expensive for the business exactly because if mm -hmm. you have the promotion or, is it, or if everything is clear if you yes. know the information you know and you say okay i'm going to do it this way or not right but it's like i don't know it's trying to to lie to you so you yeah, can come. It's, it's not that. It's, uh, do you say upset? Yeah. Frustrating. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, the experience is not good. And yeah. the advertise, the, the publicity, the mouth to mouth. No good. Yeah, definitely. Imagine yeah. that you you share the experience with us here, and probably we are going to think twice to go to that store, right? So it's like yeah, no good. Yes, Very good. Any other person has had any bad experience to purchase online when you purchase online, or a very nice experience of purchase online? Nobody else's. Okay, so today we're going to do uh, free practice because it's Friday and the body knows that you want English. So uh, let's see who's going to be the first. Um, let's check about Jose Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, teacher. Ah, perfect. So, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I feel relaxing and uh, I'm taking a rest of my bed now. Oh, that's good. I wish I could do that one, but the teacher can be in bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in the Congo City, teacher. Ah, okay. It's That's in good. Santa Ana department. Very nice. I am from Santa Ana as well. That's good. And um, it, where do you work? Um, I work in Balsamar Manufacturing Limitada. It's in just the American Industrial Park. Also, that is very close. That is very convenient. Very nice. Yes, and Wilfredo is my co-worker. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that I met Wilfredo a long, long time ago when I, my first job was there in Fruit of the Loom. Ah, yes. Uh, she, she told me something about that. Yeah. It was a very good experience. I learned a lot of things. And now I'm doing some other stuff. But it's, it's a good experience. I, I have a lot of friends there. And it's uh, very nice. And um, what do you usually do on your free time? Yeah. Uh, I always uh, spend time with my family and hanging out with some friends that, that I have. And I also used to, to watch TV and, and some series on Netflix and Netflix, excuse me. And uh, listen uh, a lot of music, teacher. I love the, the music. 
and it's my my favorite uh, uh, hobby. hobby okay very mm -hmm. good i remember that you like kind of rock music like heavy metal and things like that yes teacher i love that <laughs> I love, I love that music. Yeah, it's very I... nice. <laughs> yes, and... teacher. I'm not upset about that. <laughs> yeah, that that is, you know, yes. I. Yes, I, I like I... Nirvana too, and and another uh, grunge metal and uh, a new metal too. And I, I grew up listening to that music, and for that reason, I like is some. Uh, music bands like Korn and Linkin Park and Slipknot and Mushroom Head. Uh, another another kind of music related to to metal. Yes, yep. and I, yes, and I love to hear to listen. Uh, uh, excuse me, I I the words are it's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't. <laughs> Yes, it, you don't remember. It happens. Yes, uh, um, Terium. Uh, Have you terium. heard some songs? Yes, teacher. Yeah, and Hagar. Yeah. Yes, in in other bands like uh, like uh, Amona Mart. It's, Amona Mart is very yes, good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good music for me. Yeah, it's fantastic, you know, not only the music, but you learn a lot of things because a lot of culture there. And um, have you ever gone to any concerts, any bands concerts? Yes, teacher, when the when Iron Maiden uh, came to El Salvador, uh, I went to the concert with my wife and it was a good experience. It was crazy, teacher. I was there as well, so it was <laughs> very yes. good. Yes, teacher, uh, and I like too much Pantera. Yeah, it's very sad that we can't see that and, band anymore, right? <laughs> yes, teacher, and the other band uh, that uh, I remember, Anthrax. Yes, oh, teacher. Anthrax was very good, yeah. Very nice. Okay, perfect. It was a nice talk with you, Jose. Very good. Since that has some problems on the connection, maybe, I guess. Okay, who's gonna be next? Let's see. Walter Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, teacher. Perfect, nice. And uh, where do you live? I uh, live in, in Sirio La Quinta. Oh, Loquilta, a lot of pupusas yes. there. And the city pupusas, yes. Yeah. So where is the best place for pupusas there in Oloquilta? Ah, yes, for me it's good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but which place, which is the best, the best there in Oloquilta? Ah, okay. And Rosaria Neis La Oloquilteña. Barbarita, I recommend this. In La Carmencha. It's good. Okay. Pupusas. Okay. We have to do an English excursion to La Quilta and eat pupusas. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. And where where do you work? Uh, I am work in the manufacturer. John Gones SV. Okay. And from the Franco La Quilta. Okay. That yeah, is yeah. nice. Yeah. And uh, uh, what do you usually do on your free time? Oh my gosh, my free time is uh, practice the gyms, I practice the soccer, I listen to music, I watch in the day the soccer. Que uh, viva Real Madrid, dice Wilfredo. I know that that is a lie, but anyways. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a... Uh, and and always uh, I praise you for the soccer teacher. <laughs> so do you practice soccer or you uh, just yeah. watch? Yeah, watch you practice. The, you practice. Yeah, watch. Okay, very good. Yeah. What is your position there when you are playing soccer? Oh my God, it's a medium. Okay, very good. It's nice. medium. Yes. That is very nice. Okay. And how often do you play and similar, soccer? And similar and similar and uh, similar. Uh, 
a, a, ¿cómo se llama? A, a Lucas Modri. Ah, so you are Lucas Modri in Salvador. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Ya, pero, pero, pero por viejo ya te dice. No, the age is just no. a number, don't worry. No, no, no. Sorry. And how often do you do you play soccer? Oh, yeah. In Monday? No, excuse me. In Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday? Every yeah, Sunday. Oh, Sunday, yes. Oh, in so my Sunday is in my company on Friday. And my partner and me at the finish work at the practice the soccer. Okay, so you relax. Today you relax playing soccer. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Very good. That is amazing. That is nice. Okay, Walter, it was a pleasure talking with you today. Thank bye you, bye. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we are going to speak with, let's see, Pamela. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, nice, thank you. Nice, like, why like that? Nice. <laughs> um, well, because the, the day is, is, the day is over right now. That is true. It's almost done, so we are just a few minutes to finish the class, and the uh, weekend comes. So, what do you usually do on the weekends? Well, um, I prefer staying in my home and sleep a lot because I didn't do uh, well. I don't do so much, but also and all, all uh, sometimes I prefer. Uh, Go, uh, uh, going to another place with some friends or with my family to uh, stay in the day, uh, during the day or stay with my pet. Okay, that's very good. It's a very nice and cheap hobby. So what kind of pet do you have? I have a dog. It's what? a uh -huh. It's a cocker spaniel, and he's three years old. It's a baby to me. Yeah. It's my yeah. kind of baby. <laughs> and what's his name or her name? It's boy. It's a boy, and his name is Zeus. Zeus, okay, like the god. Nice. Yeah, because when people see my dog, think it's think that that he is a girl so we decide my family and i decide to put in an, a strong name very good and and does it bark a so lot sometimes when i we go to a, a park mm -hmm. what go ahead go ahead no when uh when we go with with he on a in the park in the park uh people uh see look see uh, and thinks that he's a he's a girl, so decide to put in a, that kind of name. Also in the bed, in the bed, uh, the person around there think that or think that it's a girl or it's a old older 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 dog. I don't know because the the color of my pet is like I don't know the name uh, uh the exactly name, but it's like uh. A, a very combi combination of when um, when the dog is is like white Al albin albino I don't know the name in English albin yeah uh, so I people think that is is older oh I see interesting maybe mm -hmm. one day we can see some pictures of it so I would like to see it that's nice <laughs> yeah. and does it bark a lot or not that much what does it bark a lot not that much only no. when someone speak with him and talk okay. with him or when somebody knocks on the door i guess um it's a kind of weird that he do it with strange but uh it, it's almost more it's common it's common that he do when he does 
uh, when someone like my mom or me talk with him. Hi, my that is interesting. Something's going on yeah, there. Yeah, he can he can say the mama. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we have to see that one. Maybe you can get a video on that one and send it to the group. <laughs> I have a video, but I don't know if uh, all everyone wants to show my pet. I would like to see it anyway. So it would be interesting. I would like to see the color of the dog. That's interesting as well. <laughs> okay. Perfect, Pamela. It was a nice talking to you and a good practice. Thank you. Okay. Let's see who else is today. Uh, Wendy. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Nice. And uh, where do you live, Wendy? I live in Santa. I live in Santa Ana. Oh, me too. That is it. We're neighbors. Yes. Uh, I live uh, from off Pupuseria Caney. That is where is that? That is uh, near Chacon, right? Something like in that street. Yes. Okay, yes. I, I remember. Very good. Well, I live okay. and on the other side of the city. I live in the entrance. The name of the neighborhood is Villarreal. Do you know there? No. Yeah, it's yeah, near no. near Del Trebol. Oh, really? Is 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 the same uh Ciudad Real? No, Ciudad Real is near Chalchuapa. So Villa Real yeah, is, but, but uh -huh. is the is the same is um, similar. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are uh -huh. far away but in the same city. That's good. And uh those I, I somebody told me that those pupusas from that place they are very good. Is that true? Mm, yeah, but for me, it's, uh, are other other better. For okay. example, uh, um, La Pradera. Where is that? Uh, is near to. I don't know how do you say los condominios. Ah, okay, but that is near the Indes. Ah, okay, I know. Yeah, I know where is it. I have tried the the, I have tried the meat, but never the pupusa. So maybe tomorrow is the day. You know. Yes, the pupusa is very very delicious. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that everybody in the class believe that I'm always hungry. I, I always speak about food or things like that. But it's <laughs> Teacher, huh? uh, 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 today is, uh, we have the best, uh, how do you say, ali comida? Uh, um, food. Food in, 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 the, in the world. The pupusa say, yes. Yeah, they are very good. You know, I used to work for a bank and it was a bank from Germany. And the, uh, the uh, boss, the boss, the real boss of all the bank, he was from Germany. And when he came to El Salvador, he was very thin. But like four years after he was very fat. And we were saying, why are you like that? I mean, he said, pupusas. <laughs> pupusas are so delicious. I can't stop eating pupusas. <laughs> I have a relation with pupusas. <laughs> yeah. So he was very happy and very fat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. So, and um, what do you usually do on your free time? Well, I don't have more free time because I have a business and I have two business and I work uh, all day. And only free time is uh, Saturday. Okay. Uh, uh, for after in afternoon, sorry, and I love uh, stay in my house with my husband and my and my son. Okay. And sometimes I like to visit my mother or my 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 friends, but I don't have more more free time. Okay, you don't have much time. And what kind of business do you do have? I mean, I'm I I. I my first business is a taqueria. I have a taqueria. Oh, okay. There uh, in your house? Yes, in my house. Ah, uh, we the can name go is there. El Tequilazo. <laughs> hey, my, that's good. <laughs> and I have another business is the 
I don't know. I don't know how do you say uh, is the party supplies? The party, oh, party my supplies. really yes, balloons, personal personalized balloons and gift in the same. That's interesting. You are very entrepreneurial. Yes. So that's nice. We have this count. <laughs> yes, you have this fund. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but you have to send uh, to San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all, all, all countries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Imagine that it's interesting. We didn't know that one. Yes, but I don't have much much time. Is correct? Yeah. Much time. Much time. I yeah. yeah, because I, I work all day and the Next is uh, when we stay in my house, I work, I continue work. And right now uh, have the class too. <laughs> yeah, that takes time, right? But anyways, it's a good thing that we're learning something. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Wendy. It was a pleasure talking with you. Me too, teacher. Bye. Good. Let's see one more. Mini, mini, more. Gloria. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very nice. When I when I always always when I say your name, I always remember that song. Te voy a cambiar el nombre. I believe that somebody has said that to you before. Um, where do you live? Uh, in San Salvador. Very good. And uh, what do you usually do on your free time, Gloria? Um, excuse me. What do you usually? What do you usually do on your free time? Ah, okay. I am. I am a scout. And, oh my. Um, and I come. Um, caminata. Uh, go for hikings. Yes. In mind, you're a scout, so you can do many things and you can survive there in the forest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, very good. You know, I, uh, I um, aprovechando. <laughs> okay. I work in, in, in many, many times in the fruit of the loom uh, for my, my friends, uh, Ana Celia. Uh, it's a scout too. I remind you, that is good. Interesting, I didn't know that thing. That is so interesting, good. But, but what, um, what talking with uh, Jose, Jose, Jose mm -hmm. yes, uh, the, the, of the food of the loom. Okay, interesting, in mind that you have, you have more relationship between you. I, I believe that you speak in English, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a little bit <laughs> yeah that is good whenever you have the chance if you have people that you can practice with it's a good chance I mean anytime that you have the chance practice practice is very important okay, okay. Gloria and uh, when is your birthday in July I'm July. very close and uh, what do you usually do on your birthday um, I'm in family with um, uh, with my my dad, my sister, and my son. Um, I eating eating. Yeah, eating is the favorite hobby for, for people in El Salvador. So the thing is that there are a lot of delicious food. What is your favorite food? Uh, it's pasta. Pasta, Italian food, very good. And do you cook pasta like lasagna and anything like that? Oh, <laughs> I know I know the cooking. <laughs> okay, you eat, but you don't cook. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And uh, if I would like to go and eat pasta like lasagna or anything like that, what place do you recommend? Uh, it's recommend... Um, I don't remember the, the number, but it's in the Paseo General Salon. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, very good. I need to go there. Okay. Then. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, Gloria, it was a pleasure talking with you. Okay, I know that everybody wants to speak in English with me today, but we don't have more time. So remember that on Fridays or maybe other days, depending on the topic, sometimes we are going to do free practice. So take advantage to speak of whatever you want to speak and um, try to try to just enjoy English. That is the way. I mean, we are learning English because of this, to, to speak right. And you can transmit any idea that you want and meet people and uh, get recommendations for anything, for places to to buy things, to go on vacations, whatever you want to recommend in English is welcome, okay? So uh, before we finish, is there any, any question regarding the class of today? No questions, clear as of chat. Please practice online. You can find lots of exercises about the topics that when you believe that something is difficult, is where you need to practice more, okay? I'm going to check the attendance, of course. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Lourdes, for you is the one on one today, but I don't know if you can listen to me. I hope you can. Okay. Uh, Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good, good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Ok. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Familia. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Very good. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. A very nice weekend. And see you on Monday. Dream in English and practice, please. Okay, bye bye. Hello, good night. Hey, see you, buddy. Enjoy your bye. weekend. See you, see you Monday. Monday. Bye. Enjoy your bye. weekend. Hello, Lourdes. Are you able to listen to me or no?
Hello, can you hear me lower this? Hello, Lourdes, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, Lourdes? Oh, 